Alright guys, so Cookie Run Kingdom actually did upload the new patch note talking about the changes that they're going to be making for the upcoming update regarding the new guild balance battle after all the, you know, suggestions and, you know, discussions that we had through Discord and things like that. However, um, you know, that did not have much detail. A TLDR of it was that they are making that boss have infinite HP with leveling system once you reach a certain threshold. Uh, they are adding you no know, things where if you do leave in the middle, then you are able to come back right away uh, to that certain point that you were, you know, left off of. And then they are adding a system of practice mode and new suggested team features. They are also having a 2.5 times speed and, uh, you know, other little dashboard and, you know, quality of life changes that are going to take place. However, they did not specifically talk about what kind of changes are actually happening to the boss and things like that but inside of the neighbor cafe they actually did show a lot of new things with the actual patch note and images so i wanted to show you guys this but shout out to theory crafters and uh the users within it uh specifically this user right here on the screen uh they actually did the translation for this particular patch note it's not in the EN Discord, so that's the reason why you guys probably didn't see this already. Let's see exactly what is going to be taking place here, guys, because a lot of things are changing and a important quote-unquote small leak was also given by the image. So let's get into it right now. All right, guys, so starting with number one, it's going to be the improvement in battle mechanics. It says that the guild boss battle will now last for one minute and the boss monster's level will increase in real time based on the accumulated damage dealt. All right, so as you guys can see on the screen right now, if you guys look at this, um, it, you can see as the damage goes up, it goes from level 199 all the way up to 200. And it does say as the boss's level increases, its base stat will also increase. And at certain levels, its skill will also become more powerful. Additionally, when the boss reaches level 200 or higher, its appearance will change. As you guys can see on the screen, where it turns from the dark version to the white version once it reaches that level 200. And it does say right over here that it is, may not be the accurate representation that you might see in the game after the patch. So just keep that in mind. Just like always, you know, things may change as they, you know, uh, add these things, edit these things in, and things like that. All right, next one is going to be the improvement to the ticket usage system. So it says that the guild boss entry ticket will now become consumed immediately upon entering the guild battle. If you choose to pause and then exit without the battle being initiated, the consumed ticket will be refunded. So if you don't actually do damage or anything like that. All right, and then however, if a certain amount of time has passed while in the pause state, the ticket will not be refunded. If the game forcefully closes after entering the battle, you will have the option to continue from where you left off. The maximum playtime for a guild raid is 3 minutes. Once this time has passed, the battle will end. If the battle is still ongoing when the maximum playtime is reached, the results up to that point will be recorded and the raid will conclude. If you reconnect within the maximum playtime after a forceful shutdown, the maximum playtime will reset to three minutes for up to two instances. All right, so it, it seems like if you do mess up or anything like that, you are able to kind of like forcefully shut it down and you do have up to two times where you might be able to go back to that three minutes of the, you know, damage dealing uh, time where you're actually battling the boss, which is really, really nice uh, so that you, you are saving the time of all the little cutscenes and, you know, going in and out of guild boss battles. And again, because of the fact that they have quote unquote infinite HP and you're just dealing damage and once the damage threshold goes up to a certain point, you're able to go and, you know, just see the level go up. It's nice that you don't need to go and have like a little, you know, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth of the beginning cutscenes and things like that. So as we continue, it reads, to prevent issues that may arise when multiple guild members battle the same boss monster simultaneously, the system has been changed so that if a guild member is already engaged in the battle, others must wait until that battle concludes before starting their own. 
Only one guild member can battle each monster at a time, and simultaneous participation is restricted. You can view the information of the guild member currently engaging in the raid from the battle waiting screen. So if you guys look right over here, uh, it does show that somebody else is actually doing the ba uh, boss battle and it does make you wait so the whole thing is grayed out so that you cannot go and you know actually get into it they have added this so that you don't go into it together and mess up your runs as well okay so that is a little change that they have added to that section and then the next one here is going to be the bullet point two boss monster balance improvement as the boss monster's level increases, its base stat such as attack, defense, and health will also increase, with the attack power becoming fixed at a certain level. Some skills will see significant enhancement within specific boss monster level range. The difficulty of the lower level ranges has been reduced, allowing more guilds to enjoy the raid battles, while the higher level ranges has been adjusted to ensure that each boss presents a meaningful challenge. All right, so the level ranges is going to be from level 1, 50, 100, and 200. So you guys can see that that's going to be the threshold uh, for you to kind of see some changes of specific stats and abilities and things like that, it seems like. And the next one is going to be the specific changes for specific boss monsters, all right, which is going to be this one right here for Red Velvet Dragon as well as the Avatar of Destiny. For the Red Velvet Dragon and the Avatar of Destiny, the approach focused on maintaining the current experience as much as possible while adjusting the values of certain skills across specific level ranges. In the case of Red Velvet Dragon, to address the excessive high difficulty due to high reflection damage at the early levels, the reflection damage ratio in the early levels has been reduced to lower the difficulty, which is pretty good. So it does seem like the Avatar of Destiny one is not changing much, all right? But the reflection damage for the Red Velvet Dragon is reduced for the early levels. All right, and the next one is going to be improvement to the Living Abyss, which was really, really needed. For the Living Abyss to improve stability and efficiency, which were hindered by the fluctuating number of summoned swarms or the ooze, the system has been changed to summon all ooze at once at the start of the battle. Additionally, to mitigate damage loss caused by the disappearance of the ooze, the health of the ooze has been significantly increased. It does not say it has been changed to infinite, all right, but we'll have to see if we can actually kill the ooze or not because the ooze dying was the main reason why no one really played the living abyss because again the actual players that were really really focused on guild boss battle a lot of them were starting to kill the ooze and just the damage will just suck because the ooze which was the only real way to do your damage started dying off a new feature has been added that increases the damage taken by ooze when they are hit by crowd control effects, allowing for more effective strategies using cookies with crowd control and area effect damage abilities. So let's look at this right here and that's going to be the ooze summoning interval change. The number and timing of ooze summoned by the boss monster has been adjusted. So previously it was two ooze every five seconds until the end of the battle, but now we are just having a total of eight summoned at the start of the battle and the next one is going to be the function changes to prevent damage loss due to the disappearance of the ooze several function has been added or changed they removed the ooze recovery function they also removed injury related mechanics they also significantly increased the ooze hp and also when ooze are affected by crowd control effects the damage they take will increase and some of the examples are going to be freeze charm sleep stun and etc all right next one is going to be number three right here and it says season progression and raid ticket improvements so it says that the number of boss appeared per season has been reduced from three to two which is a big thing here guys and it says the monster not included in the current season can be encountered through practice battles however just keep in mind that the number of plays are still going to remain the same so you are going to have to still hit the two bosses nine times to have the maximum 18 battles per week all right so that's not going to be changing it's just that you are restricted to two bosses rather than having the option of the third one 
So if you guys look on the screen, it is going to be in this particular rotation. This is, of course, going to be an example here, guys. So the first week is going to be Red Velvet Dragon with Avatar of Destiny. Second week is going to be Avatar of Destiny with Living Abyss. Third week is going to be with Red Velvet Dragon Living Abyss. And the last one is going to be Red Velvet Dragon with Avatar of Destiny. All right, so we'll see how the rotations are going to take place. But again, this is going to be an example of how it's going to take place. So now let's look at the big bullet point for addition of guild dashboard and the new quality of life improvements. A dashboard feature will be added, allowing you to review information from previous season. In the dashboard, you can check the guild ranking, total trophies earned, damage dealt to each boss monster, and information about the guild member who made the most significant contribution during the guild boss battle. A team recommendation feature will be added for each boss monster along with a 2.5 times battle speed as well. A practice mode will be added allowing you to simulate the same condition as the current boss monster level including the accumulated damage. But here is the thing all right if you guys actually look at closer to the image of this one right here then you can see that mint choco actually has a magic candy so it does look like with this update that's coming through september we actually might get mint choco's magic candy as well all right so that is a little thing that they have added uh which is going to be pretty darn cool all right so mint choco finally getting a magic candy here as well all right next is going to be right over here addition to the topping presets and topping storage so to make it more convenient to set up specific presets while tackling various boss monsters we have added team setup presets and topping storage one additional team setup preset for guild boss battle the number of default topping storage slot has been increased by five so it seems like just for the guild boss battle it's making it so you don't need to you know go and do some crazy switching every single week and they are opening these up so that you don't need to be using your crystals to open these up for the guild boss battles all right so that's really really nice and the closing is going to be these are the detailed improvements in the first phase we will continue to review your valuable feedback and make ongoing improvement and adjustments to the guild boss battle so we appreciate your continuous interest and opinions we are committed to do our best to make Cookie Run Kingdom a game that we can create together and to ensure that playing our game provides you with the enjoyable experience. And it says thank you. And again, shout out to Cat Mario for a good translation of this. Of course, I did change a couple of the wordings that were translated in a more of a direct translation. So uh, keep that in mind. But again, shout out to Theory Crafters and once again, Cat Mario for the translation make my life so much easier. Uh, making this video here and you know korean players are actually pretty genuinely uh you know happy about the changes that are taking place and of course more things need to happen but it's a good step towards the right direction um right here with the guild boss battle changes and things like that so we'll see how it goes but again within the images all right the minchoko magic candy has been leaked all right so we'll see what kind of changes are happening with Minchoko? How much more damage we're actually going to do with the Avatar of Destiny now with the Minchoko Magic Candy. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the changes that are going to be taking place for the Guild Boss Battle. I personally think it's a pretty darn good change. And because of the fact that they have actually fundamentally changed the Living Abyss and things like that, I think we will do a lot more damage. And we will see, uh, you know, more of a fun change actually taking place and more teams uh that are going to come out with the new effects and things like that so yeah I'm, I'm excited to see the change uh that will take place maybe it will spark uh more of the interest towards the guild boss battle now and we will see more players come back just to play the guild boss battle all right well anyways guys that's gonna be it i will update you guys on any other news that does come out but thanks for watching guys check out the other videos in front of you guys and i'll see you guys there